Not at the line, no, but during the you know live, but yes, at the line, you know, it's kind of that uh, that static, fog, hazy noise. There was a guy though, right before I shot, I kept hearing your mom loves you. I don't know why they said that though. I heard he was from Indiana, which wouldn't make sense. But oh well, definitely. That's the confidence I've been trying to get into the guys to know that we are capable and we are competing to compete with any team and not only compete but beat them. And as of late, we're you know starting to do what we always preach, which is take care of the little things and then we give us some wins. And again, as of late, we've been doing those things and now we have our wins. Well, we know their team that can shoot the ball well, especially when they're when they're feeling good about it. So we can't let them get comfortable from there. Um, the multiple defenses they play kind of you know get teams in a bind and abuse. So we have to make sure that we keep our boys when we're faced with that. And you know we have, they have their their star player in Hill, who um, you know will have to do a good job. On. I didn't say anything in the handshake line, did I? Oh, did I? Yeah, oh, I can't remember. Ah, uh, sheesh. He said something about being unguardable. Ah, uh, really? Yes. The word unguardable? I don't think I said that. No, you didn't say unguardable. Oh, said, see, no well, I didn't know what I said. No, no one, one on your team can't it. guard me. Is that remember, what I said? Remember that. What? We, we kept the video here. There's no way I said that. <laughs> um, Is it false? Yeah, I don't know anything about that. I, <laughs> I was just trying to play a basketball game. Very proud of my guys. We did a great job. We pulled out a win. We didn't do well enough. We had too many turnovers and we had 16. Uh, it's way too many. But overall, we took a step in the right direction with the win. Definitely. Uh, I, think, I think we definitely have that. We've shown that early in the season already when we went to Syracuse. We played a good Syracuse team at that point in time. They were whatever in the country, undefeated. And we um, went in there and played a great game. And we were able to come up with a win. So we've definitely shown those spurts. But again, that's what I've been saying this season. We've, Earlier in the season, we've shown spurts of high and low, and as of late, we've been consistently putting it together. I mean, I did go through struggles, a lot of struggles, uh, the past two years, but they were just kind of masked by our success, really. Uh, when you win, you know, nothing really, no one ever looks at, you know, what you did poorly. But now, you know, we've lost a lot of games, a lot more games this year. So uh, those, those are kind of showed a little more. Um, like you said, I haven't really gone through that a lot in high school, and, you know, I'm not in the same position exactly as the past two years. So um, it's a good learning experience for me. Yeah, I mean, especially with our non-conference guys, we played the number one team in the country, Oklahoma. And uh, like I was saying before, I went three for 18 that game. So, and we were still right there pretty much, like 10 points all game or so. Um, so we know we can play with anybody in the country. So, yeah. uh, I mean, I was pretty upset about my performance, but I was obviously happy about the team win. And like you said, going one for nine and having my other teammates pick me up, like Jordan Hill come in the game and be aggressive over that it really shows how good we can be. Um, like I said before, if I don't go one for nine and I start playing like myself again, then that just you know just makes me wonder how good we can be. Kind of. They, they their assistant um, talked to my high school coach and said they're in the middle of a coaching change because that was when John Gross just came in. Okay. And he said uh, if you're interested, just be patient and stuff like that. So, but once Wisconsin offered me, I didn't wait too long before I committed there. Yeah, that's um, D Brown and Luther Head and that team right there. That was that was a team. I mean, I remember everyone around me in my hometown are Iowa Hawkeye fans. So I remember going over to my dad's best friend's house and when we were living and saying Iowa, Iron Iowa, Iron Iowa, chanting that to his at his doorstep. So we were Illinois fans growing up. Yeah, definitely. It's it's something where if we play our game, we know that we can play with the best of them. Um, earlier in the season, I don't think we had that confidence. Uh, but now that we're playing together as a team and playing for one each other or one another, uh, we're doing a lot better. Um, I wouldn't. I mean, I guess they are technically clicking just because of how well I've been producing. But at the same time, it's not like something just automatically hit and I was. I did this differently. It's just it started to kind of flow better for me, and now I'm getting in the swing of things more. I can't remember what um, their record was, but Coach Guard was telling us they're not what their record indicates. They got a lot of talent. They're kind of young. And uh, they're, they're a good team, so I know, we know it's going to be a dogfight.